You're watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. Today on Hunting and Outdoor Adventures, we come to you from the Hidden Springs Ranch in South Central Texas. This ranch is owned by my family and is under intense game management for trophy whitetails. Part of our whitetail management program includes trying to balance our buck to doe ratio. Our goal is to have one buck for every doe. When we first began our management program two years ago, our buck to doe ratio was way off. Surveys concluded that we had at least eight does for every buck, and we knew that it would take time to get the does thinned out. We began an all-out effort to remove does. We recorded important information from each doe taken. Specifically, we noted the weight and age of the does. Next, it was important to note if the doe was lactating. This gave us an idea of how many does had successfully raised their fawns. Finally, we noted the overall condition of each doe. At the same time two years ago that we started removing does, we began to supplemental feed our deer. Being honest, we had very poor results because the deer just wouldn't eat the supplemental feed. After two years of searching for a feed that the deer would eat, we discovered Legends Deer Feeds, and the deer went crazy for it, and I was excited to say the least. Now our deer were hitting the feeders and hitting them hard. The consumption of the Legends feed was remarkable, and the photos and videotape taken around our feed stations proved that we had found a deer feed that our deer loved. The overall condition of the deer improved greatly once they began eating the Legends feeds. The does were larger, and their fawns were too. And our bucks? Well, that's what really blew our minds. Our bucks started to grow some incredible antlers. Just take a look at some of these bucks. Later on in today's show, we'll take you along on a buck hunt at the Hidden Springs Ranch, and you simply won't believe how the Legends Deer Feeds has improved the quality. But first, back to the does. Our records indicated an incredible increase in body weights on our does of 21% the first year. That's right, folks, 21%. And this was in a drought year. Now we had proof that Legend Steer Feeds was a success. Join me now as my five-year-old Maddie and I hope to take our first deer together. Although Maddie's been around lots of ranch activities, she's never been on an actual hunt and I wanted to make sure that she would enjoy it. We were seated in the tower stand that overlooked a green field. Maddie had brought along her toy rifle just in case she'd get to use it. Welcome back to Hunting and Outdoor Adventures and to Texas's Hidden Springs Ranch, where my five year old daughter Maddie is helping me hunt for a doe. It's hard for kids to sit still, especially my kids. Don't wiggle so much. But that's okay, because whether we get a deer or not, we're still having a big time together. <laughs> <laughs> it's late in the season and we've been on the does hard they had become aware that we were on to them and I knew we'd be lucky to get a shot for the first hour or so Maddie passed the time away as she practiced shouldering her rifle and also helping look through the binoculars, even if she was looking through the wrong end of them. That's backwards. The deer were a no-show, but that didn't dampen Maddie's spirit. 
I had managed to keep her busy, trying to keep her from getting bored. Our goodie bag came in handy, and I hoped she'd be able to sit still until dark. It started to cool off as the sun began to set behind the trees to our west, and Maddie crawled up on my lap to keep warm. Finally, we spotted our first deer. some sausage meat out, don't we? What did you think about that shot, honey? <laughs> that was a good shot. Well, did it scare you at all? No. Well, I'm glad it didn't scare you. Because I smell it with a gun. I told you to cover your ears, and you did just that, didn't you? Come on, let's go, Daddy. stuff. Boy, this is real important. Even if she's old, she's pretty. She yeah. is old and she is pretty and she's going to make great sausage. You know, a couple of things, folks, if you have the opportunity to take a kid hunting, it doesn't make any difference whether you're squirrel, rabbit hunting or, you know, hunting for doe like what we're doing. But, you know, take a kid because these are the times that, number one, they're going to remember forever, but you're going to remember for the rest of your life. It's uh, This is the first time Maddie and I have actually gotten to go hunting, deer hunting together, and, uh, you know, it's, it's awesome, it's, it's, uh, it's a nice trophy, but, but, I mean, it's important to take a kid and let the kid, I mean, enjoy this, I mean, look at her, she just, she wants to touch it, she, and, you know, whatever she wants to do, as far as I'm concerned, is fine, there's no way anything that she does is going to be wrong, you know, we need to treat animals with respect and dignity, and the best thing about it is, she's going to, Help me right now when we take it up, we're gonna clean it, and then we're gonna take it home, we're gonna make some sausage. Colton and Mommy are gonna like it, this pretty deer. They're gonna love it, but more importantly, you know what? These are memories not only you're gonna remember for the rest of your life, but I will too. Give me some love in there. 